All right, guys, we're back in my garage, and in this video, we're going to be opening up these packages to take the next big step on my 440i build. And a lot of you probably already saw this coming, probably even before I did, but I just kind of decided it was time to take that jump and really take my build to the next level. So let's go ahead and open up these boxes and we'll see what's inside. So as you guys can see, I basically went with a Precision Raceworks port injection kit and a Motive Reflex controller. And this is something that I was trying to put off as long as possible, but it was always kind of in the back of my mind that I knew this was going to be coming at some point. And luckily, I got in a discussion with Trevor over at Bimmer Network, and he agreed to sponsor my build and supply me with this kit. So really big shout out to Bimmer Network. They have pretty much all of the bolt-ons and parts that you might need. Everything from simple downpipe intake stuff all the way up to obviously upgraded fueling and even big turbo kits. So definitely check them out. I have their link down in the description. And if you guys are interested, you can register for his site and you will be entered into a giveaway for a coupon code off of a port injection kit. So definitely check out the link down in the description, sign up and create your account and then follow his page on Instagram and send him a DM with the email address that you use to register. And we'll be holding this drawing up until April 1st at 12 midnight. So again, thank you to Bimmer Network for sponsoring this build. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything we have. So I went with port injection for a few reasons. The biggest thing is that I really miss running full E85. And some of you that have been following me for a while know that I ran full E85 on my stock turbo and it was just super convenient and you know it smelled good, drove great. Just everything about it was a much nicer experience. But now that I'm trying to push my big turbo kit on direct injection only, I basically was running a mix. I ran like E40 in order to get the most out of the setup. And so the goal with this port injection kit is to be able to run full E85 without sacrificing horsepower. Because if I ran full E85 with just the door stage 2 high pressure fuel pump, it would limit me and I'd probably lose about 50 horsepower. So this is going to allow me to basically run full E85 and also set up flex fuel so I can switch between pump gas, a mix, and full E on the fly without any you know flashing or map switching needed. All of it will be controlled by the reflex controller. So of course I'm going to bring you guys along for that entire process. I'll show you how I install the port injection kit. We're going to install the motive reflex and then we're going to go through the full flex fuel tuning process of how we set that up to run any mix I want at any time I want. And hopefully this is a pretty smooth process. Now keep in mind, I know I'm going to have to repeat this a bunch of times in the future, but I am not expecting any significant gains with this port injection kit simply because I am still on the 550i clutch and it is an OEM plus kind of upgrade for our cars, but it's not bulletproof. So we're trying to limit torque to around 600 foot pounds and targeting around 650 wheel horsepower. So just kind of the typical horsepower level that most B58s run at on these big turbo kits. So there's definitely a lot of capacity in this kit to push for more, but I'm going to have to rate to upgrade my clutch and all the other auxiliary components before I can push it that hard. So for this year, at least I plan on just running this at pretty much the same power level, just basically providing the extra fuel I need to run full E85 without losing horsepower from where I am now.
So first we'll take a look at the Precision Raceworks port injection kit. This is basically the muscle right here and you can see it's a very nice kit. It's got even fuel distribution which is one of the things that makes it unique. And you can see every single port is the exact same and the injector position is the exact same. And that's really important. Precision is actually one of the only ones that do this and by making sure it's in the same spot in your cylinder it's basically going to have much more even fuel distribution and particularly back here this is going to be cylinder six i highly recommend you take a look at this if you're picking a port injection kit if you like your cylinder six you're going to want to pick a kit that has even distribution even back here so this is the setup that i went with for that reason just because i know that it's going to give me the best reliability and safety just from a design standpoint, it's set up to, you know, optimize my fuel system. Now, I went with the 750 cc injectors. They do offer 1,000 cc injectors as well, but the rating for these injectors is at a lower fuel pressure than what our low pressure fuel system runs at. It's around like 42 psi. Our low pressure fuel system runs at over 70 psi, so these are actually going to flow 1,000 cc's at the fuel pressure that our cars run at so because of that i know it's going to supply way more fuel than i would need anytime soon it basically can support over a thousand horsepower and especially if you're pairing it with an upgraded fuel pump you'll have a lot of fueling so i think the 750 cc kit is pretty much good for everybody now it also comes with a couple extra components so we've got the actual gaskets that will replace the ones in our intake manifold to seal it up to the cylinder head we've got some extra hardware here and then we've also got these little standoffs that hold up your intake manifold and if we look under here we have the actual fuel line as well so this line is going to kind of splice into our low pressure fuel line that feeds the high pressure fuel pump it just jumps in the middle of it and then it connects down here to the actual port injection kit and that's what creates the fuel supply for this kit so very excited to install this it's pretty simple um, and so i'll show you guys the whole process to remove the intake manifold and get that installed the other cool thing about this is it comes with a calibration certificate so they're providing bosch motorsports injectors and they're actually getting them flow matched and you get the certificate showing how much variation you will have between the injectors so obviously zero percent is going to pass and going to be very good so i feel a lot more confident seeing that slip with the injectors that they provide now next we have the motive reflex and this is going to be the brain and as you can see it's basically going to control everything that we could need from the port injection system and this is actually an extremely capable setup I'm not going to be using it to its full capability just because my setup is pretty simple. It can definitely control port injection and that's the primary thing most of us see, but it can also control things like nitrous, methanol, low pressure fuel pumps, external wastegates, pretty much everything that you would use to get the most out of your setup. And it'll take readings from various inputs on your car, primarily like your boost sensor, your crank sensor, your cam sensors, and basically everything that it needs to read the condition of the engine. It can even read things like fuel pressure, crankcase pressure, cooling system pressure, all of these different things that you can add onto your car and create safeties around it. So if anything goes outside of your specified limits, it'll cut boost and basically put the car into limp mode to protect the engine. So very, very cool system. You can see they kind of start you off with a couple different things to make the install a little bit easier. We have some wiring harnesses that we can use to expand its capabilities. Of course, it comes with the basic port injection wiring harness, as well as some extra leads for whatever else you might want to hook up to. And then I also went ahead and got this low pressure fuel sensor as well. So this is going to be nice because we don't have a factory low pressure fuel sensor on our cars. So this can actually pull a reading from the low pressure fuel system 
and provide that to the motive reflex so it can use that as another safety. I know you have to buy these separately and they don't necessarily come with the kit, but it's mostly because you might already have some on hand and not need to buy them. So they don't provide it for free, but they offer it as an option if you don't already have it so that you can make sure you have all of the safeties and capabilities of the motive reflex integrated with your build. So yeah, that's what we have here. Again, big thanks to Bidmer Network for sponsoring this build and providing me with these parts. I highly recommend you guys go set up an account on his website if you're interested in this kit because that coupon code will make it much easier for you to get the same setup. So set up an account, follow him on Instagram, and DM him with the email address that you use to register, and you will be entered in the drawing. The giveaway will run until April 1st, so... You have a little while to enter, and I will be posting additional DIYs over the next couple weeks to help you guys see how all of this comes together. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. Do 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 do